Yo, old beast, this one is special. We got World TV, you know how we do. This year's our year, World TV year. Ain't no other TV like Whoa. Um, can you tell us about your, your training camp coming into this fight? Um, I've been training hard like I always do for fights um, at the UTC. It's got good facilities, good cardio facilities, good weight facilities to get me fit, get in shape. I've been training with um, guys that I know that kind of mimic the guy that I'm fighting style, so I'm, I'm pretty cool. Um, can, can you tell us a bit um, some, some more about the UTC? It's quite a new gym. Yeah, the UTC. Um, I work for the UTC and I'm sponsored by the UTC. They're um, a great facility, one of the best uh, in, in the country. Um, they provide everything, everything a mixed martial artist needs. Do you find, or do, do you think that's given you more of an advantage uh, during your preparation for this fight, having somewhere you can do everything? Yeah, definitely, because I'm there 24-7. Uh, it gives me everything uh, I need throughout the day. Do you know what I mean? I don't have to worry about work and stuff. I'll just do what I've got to do. Have you got any plans for, for what you're going to do next? Um, whether you win or lose in this fight? No, I have no plans, um, really. Just see, see how this fight goes and I just go with the flow. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? What gym you come from? Uh, I train at Dinkin Ninjas in Scotland. Um, the biggest MMA club in, in Scotland, up in Glasgow. Um, defending my OMAC title tonight against Vaughan Lee from Birmingham. Cool. Can you tell us what your training programme has been like? Um, the same as pretty much other any other fight, six weeks usually, um, six days a week and two or three sessions a day, just de depending on what day of the week it is, with one day off. A um, lot of conditioning stuff, a lot of Thai boxing, a lot of wrestling, a lot of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Have you, have you changed the focus of your, of your training camp to suit uh, your opponent? Um, not really, um, I've tweaked one or two little things more just to suit Vaughn's style, he's a, he's a southpaw whereas the last couple of guys I've fought I've, I've stood left leg forward, um, so I've, I've sparred a lot more with southpaws but other than that pretty much just the same routine stuff. James, thanks for joining us again on OTV. Give us your thoughts on the fight, please. Um, fight was fun. First, felt like, for what I can remember, felt like I was dominating the start. Felt pretty comfortable. Um, and then apparently I got illegally kicked in the head on the ground. I came in much after that, but the referee asked me if I wanted to continue and tell me I'd have to stand up. So I remember 
just try to survive the first round. And bits and pieces of second and third. It was a good fight. I enjoyed most of it, what I can remember. Um, tough fight, fast pace, I'd imagine, watching it for the side. Fawn was a good fighter. Um, his ground was a bit better than I expected. His wrestling was pretty tight. Just enjoyed it, it was cool. How, how hard did you find the final two rounds, giving the illegal head uh, kick at the start? Um, I kind of lost my momentum a wee bit with the head kick. I felt like I was controlling, I was pretty comfortable until then. After that, kind of on autopilot, I think, for most of it. Um, kind, of, kind of strange experience. I remember kind of, kind of flirting in and out, of knowing what I was doing and, and just instinct getting through bits and pieces. Um, kind of started coming back round near the end there, the last couple of minutes of the last round there. I was going to have to try, try and push the pace a wee bit more just to, to make up for a p pretty poor second round. Um, it was a good fight. And, and finally, can, can you give us your, your thoughts on the result? Um, I knew it was going to... I, I thought I might have edged it. I thought I, I definitely lost the second round. I think the, him losing the point in the first round made it 10-8. And I thought I'd probably done enough to, to take the, the last round. They obviously got one take down in the last round, I think maybe two. But um, it wasn't doing much at the bottom where I was... I landed some nice shots and backed them up a few times with some combinations on the feet. So I thought I probably edged it um, with the, the 10-8 first round. If it wasn't a 10-8 first round, I reckon it would have been a draw anyway, but it was a good fight.